Okay, so here's the scenario. Somebody gets you a gift, you unwrap it furiously, you it's, see that it's a Lego set, but it's not a Lego set for the Eiffel Tower, it's not a Lego set for the Millennium Falcon, it's a Lego set for the universe. And these, this is the, the sort of instructions that it comes with. These are all the different types of Legos that you get in that Lego set. So these are all the different, uh, this periodic table is sort of the the guide to that Lego set. This is telling you exactly what type of Legos you have. Now, each box on, this, on the periodic table represents a different type of Lego. And the term for a type of Lego is an element. So you know that something is made just of an element if it's only made from one box on the periodic table. Something that's made from just one box on the periodic table is an element. But if you start taking things from multiple boxes, for example, if you took hydrogen and mixed it with oxygen to get water, you'd be using more than one box on the periodic table, that would be a compound. So a compound is something that's made from more than one box on the periodic table. So you have these sort of two terms on things that you make from the periodic table, elements and compounds. Elements are made from just one box and compounds from more than one. Now notice each box uh, has either one or two letters in it. The letter has, the first letter is always capitalized. The second letter is always lowercase. So every time you see a capital letter, that means you have a new element. So in question one from chap the chapter three homework, it asks you to classify each of the following as either an element or a compound. And the basic idea here is, if you only see one capital letter, then you know you're only using one box on the periodic table, and we saw that that is an element. If you see more than one capital letter, then you know that you're using more than one boxes on the periodic table, so you know it's a compound. So for A, they say a silicon chip. We only see one capital letter there, that means it's only using one box on the periodic table, silicon, and so that would be an element. For B, hydrogen peroxide, I see one and then two capital letters. That means we're using two boxes on the periodic table, hydrogen and oxygen, and that means that it's going to be a compound because it is made from more than one element, more than one box on the periodic table. Oxygen. Now I know there's a two there, but it doesn't matter. I only see one capital letter. That means it's made from just one box on the periodic table, which means that it is an element. That is elemental oxygen. Rust. Rust is uh, iron oxide. Now I see one, two capital letters. So two capital letters, that means that I'm using two boxes on the periodic table, iron and oxygen, and so this is going to be a compound. Compounds are made from more than one box on the periodic table. How about methane? Methane, CH4, a natural gas. Um, methane, I see the capital C, capital H, that's two capital letters. That means that I am using two uh, boxes on the periodic table, which means that methane is a compound. It is a compound. And so that would be question one. Now question two is basically the same thing. I see one capital letter in A, helium gas, and so that is just one box on the periodic table, and so that is an element. For mercury in a thermometer, mercury, the only metal that's a liquid at room temperature, I just see one capital letter, H. And so that means I'm only using one box on the periodic table, which means mercury is just an element. Sugar, sugar, C12H22O11. I see one, two, three capital letters. That means that I'm dealing with one, two, three boxes on the periodic table. So this is a compound. Compounds are anything that are made up of more than one box on the periodic table. Sulfur, I see one capital letter. That means I'm only dealing with one box on the periodic table, which means this is an element. 
Sulfur is a yellow solid, although when it burns, it turns blue. It's very beautiful. Uh, you might Google Kawa Ijen. It's a volcano in Indonesia that has a lot of solid sulfur on the side, and at night, the sulfur melts and forms this lake of this ethereal blue molten sulfur flames. It's very, very beautiful. There's a National Geographic uh, photo special, I think, on it. So Kawa Ijen. You can see elemental sulfur there. Lye. Now lye, L-Y-E, I see one, two, three capital letters. That means that I'm going to have one, two, three boxes on the periodic table, and that means that I'm dealing with a compound. Lye, L-Y-E, is a compound because it's made of more than one box on the periodic table. Um, and so this is just, the difference between an element and a compound is just a degree of complexity. So you're classifying these different substances based on how many Legos you've put together, how complex the substance is.